guys welcome back to my youtube channel Yelna Yuristiari on this uh, video I would like to talk in English to you because I, I think it's uh, worth it for all of people in the world to hear and to know what, what is my experience when I was in Madagascar actually now I'm still in Madagascar so uh, last two weeks i already i went to my um <laughs> with my friend to the island uh, around 70 kilometers from atamata we go to the island named like il Auguns or plum islands i joined the chris miatos mada as uh, my tour and travel agent and i met uh, I met uh, new friends in this uh, trip and this is uh, this is me and beside me there is a uh, Chan or in Indian language meaning the Chan is moon and behind the Chan is there is Muni and this is Lionel and beside Lionel there is uh, Ashania and uh, many others and 99 and in front of them there is another people also and this is the the way we go into that island this island is around uh, as i told you around 70 kilometer or 17 kilometer i'm not sure but this island is the eastern island in the madagascar so it uh, it is located in the indian ocean and if you see from tamatav you can see this island actually uh, this island is not so far but if you're using this small boat you can reach this island around 45 minutes in this boat uh, this is we're using the uh, fiber boat with the uh, motor i'm not sure what is uh, how big the horsepower of this uh, motor boat but uh, it's it's good i think i, I mean because in the middle of the sea i can see the wave is uh, quite big maybe around a uh, half a meter i'm not sure about that so this is the plum island you can see that there is a, a mercusuar of of the island so this mercusuar is uh, uh, it's it is it was from a french colonized uh, in madagascar before so you see that island it's very very beautiful you see the water it's very clear crystal clear yeah and you can see the coral on the bottom and this is really a heaven this island is heaven and nobody stay in this island except one a family and that one family living nearby that mercusuar to taking care of the mercusuar or lighthouse so around 45 minutes from Tamataf port we reached the island with the, uh, the name of this boat uh, around uh, what is the name of this boat I, I forgot and uh, yeah that is the Ledefi. Ledefi is another boat so we have two boat and uh, that guy is the I think that guy is the, uh, the citizen not citizen the habitant of the island it's like the people stay in this island oh challenger challenger I make okay. video okay this <laughs> <laughs> this is my new friends all of these people is my new friends and i i meet them and i feel so blessed to meet this group Hello. and Hello. they are they are friend each other i i mean before meet me they already know each other so i'm the new for them but uh, even i'm i'm the new person for them they are very nice to me and they are so kind and so friendly and uh, so funny and we enjoying our time together in this small island so 
this is the this island don't have port you just have like uh, like a beach beautiful beach and you just uh yeah this is the after we walking for a while around five minutes we reach another side of this island and they have like a hut small hut one small hut for them to keeping their equipment and they make like the small kitchen for us and they have the table the small table and this is the kitchen and uh, the Chris Miatur also provide a, a chef for us and uh, a chef will cooking a Malaga seafood for me and for my friends Hello. and she is our best video, chef cooking? because I like uh, I like to eat what she cook because the taste a little bit looks like a taste like uh, Indonesian food mm. uh, this is papaya uh, she would like to make a salad from this papaya it is like a raw papaya not the cooked one not the yeah not the cook ah uh, sorry if my english is not good but i try to explain to you and this is the 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 kitchen and we have like the you know the that that woods the woods are uh, ah okay first we, i want to introduce you to my friend so this is them uh, his name Mm -hmm. uh, your name? Ah, yeah. We can uh, present ourselves. So ah, okay. First, uh, I'm Chon. Chan. Chon, yeah. I am Bolida. I am Shania. I am Joyce. I'm Adelaide. I am Joanna. And Mumi. Yes. <laughs> and I'm Yelma. <laughs> nice to meet you, Hannah. <laughs> yes. So today we will have the camping here mm -hmm. with these people and one more Lionel Lionel, uh, Lionel, Lionel not, for, not, not uh, camping after after, after. some minutes uh, she uh, he will be come here okay but no uh, we waiting here for mm. uh, no, waiting Lionel mm. okay yeah like that our program is uh, this morning we can do like activity we can swimming and after we take a lunch and during afternoon we visit this uh, place like this and uh, in the evening sleep like a, uh, <laughs> bonfire and yeah, sleep bonfire like this okay so yeah guys our uh, expert jam uh, comment or expert jam info the our program today is a free fish. program uh, in the morning we can swim we can do whatever we want to do in this island and we will get lunch and after that in the afternoon we will go to lighthouse to see the every week yeah the sea week, and the sky. We have a you remember when the when the moa in the moana movie there is a song when the sea meet the sky it calls me something like that i i forgot okay so first we all want to go to swimming on, on the beach first so you see my friend they already changed their uh, swimming suit and we see also several boys to build the tank for us and, and uh, we see also there is a fish inside that bowl and we see joanna and nine nine and ashania seeing the in the fish so i guess they took the sea the fish from the sea Korai. and they put in the bowl it's it's dive fish and this is the coral and this is the fish the uh, pretty beautiful fish and oh the fish falling down and put again <laughs> we are like the children playing the fish and see this is the beach on that <laughs> island okay when you come to madagascar or atamatav you can take the christmas tour 
agent. It is placed in uh, in front of Lucille Hotel, and you can take this kind of tour. It's very worth it for you as an adventure of your life. Right. And we got Whoa. the coral. Yeah. So all of the seafood or is uh, starfish. Yeah. I'm not sure what Different, kind of like this. these things. Starfish yeah, or coral. Touch it. So good. Eat your hand out of it. Open. Hey, this is soft me. It's open when, uh, when there is in the water. Another? Uh, I guess this is starfish. Actually, I'm not sure about that. But uh, we put this one back to the sea. See, Chan put it again. On the. No, no, Chan. Uh, that is not Chan. Uh, he put it again on the sea and I walk to the kitchen and see what our chef cook. Our chef cooking the fish, the grilled fish and uh, today uh, she cooking beef for us, the Malagasy food. And as you see there are several uh, groups, well I mean another groups, they already reach here since the morning. And then after we swimming and we waiting our food and you see Mooney is very happy today. The wave will come here in the night time. So the Plum Island is the island, uh, is the outside island of Madagascar. So before the French colonial uh, seeing the, the, the enemy, I mean seeing the people who coming to Madagascar from this island. This is like the, the their uh, barrack or their place for uh, God, the island, so the Joanna, Madagascar island. So you see the Joanna, Joanna helping our chair. Joanna. <laughs> and this island is very beautiful. I asking them why there is no people build the house in this island. Money. And they say this island is owned is by money. government. And uh, people cannot uh, make the house, permanent house here. But if the tour and travel agent, <laughs> they say if the people want to uh, make the, uh, the tour and travel agent want to bring their guests to this island, they can do that as long as they will take care. They will uh, taking care of their rubbish and they will taking care of their building. I mean, they cannot make the permanent building. They just can make like the tan and after that they demolish again. So this island is like a nature. You see in Indonesia, people it's suffering to get this kind of land. But here it's like, it's free. Everywhere, anywhere you can take it. And this is our tan and for your info this is the first one is my tent and that another one is the people another people tent so you can imagine what i can see from my tent in the afternoon and in the morning and finally we got our lunch here and for today we will get uh, we pray before our lunch and uh, we eat something like rendang in Indonesia. We call it rendang, like the beef with the sauce, coconut sauce, and we eat something like that. It's tasty. And then after that, we playing uh, like something like a game, the group uh, game. But before that, we would like to taking picture and take memories in the frame and I just enjoy it for a while to see in the beach and the wave and yeah just like that I just sitting here and facing the sea and just just sitting is it's very calm here and over there they already plan to make the game and 
And this is Chan and Shania. And then, yeah, that is the land, the Plum Island. Because we still uh, have the free time, at this time we are not sure what will we do. So all of us decided to make like the truth or dare game. I'm not sure what is the name of this game, but this is like a truth or dare, something like that. And over there, you can see the another group already swimming. There are three people swimming on the on that beach, and <laughs> we playing this game. And voila, we asking one guy to climb the tree and telling. Oh, I do like that. <laughs> this is very funny game. So everyone, everyone have to. I don't know what is the name of the game, but they say like this. Okay, you tell the car's brand. And if we cannot telling the car's brand, they will ask us to do something. And on this game. Uh, everyone had the, the chance to do what is the funny things in their life. Sanya doing I, I don't understand, but this is maybe the funny things in Malagasy world. Because they, they always talk in Malagasy here, and sometimes they talk in English. And after we finish with our game, we do dancing. Actually, not we, not me, but then I do Oh, yes, yeah. 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 Oh, yes, yeah.
Dominico, mal pasó tu maquete, oh, fiesta. Dominico, mal pasó tu maquete, oh, fiesta. After that, uh, this is afternoon time, so me and my friends going to the lighthouse to see the the lighthouse. I mean, see the landscape of this island from the top. So this is our, uh, I can say this is our tour guide because he know everywhere uh, the the route in this island he know how to go to the lighthouse he know how to go in in the middle of jungle he know everything and he telling us uh, about the lighthouse and you see the the jungle a little bit looks like uh, indonesian jungle if you ever go to the sumatra island jungle uh, you will see this kind of jungle it's like uh, the jungle with a very very huge uh, uh, plants the variety of the plants and there is like a rainforest jungle and who stay in yeah, the lighthouse it's, uh, similar yeah, like house and after we make a tour in the island okay. make sure that we go in the forest for seeing the bats you know bats yeah in oh, bats, bats yes. yeah. Suri. And around five minutes from the beach, we find the old home, very old home. And this is the the people who stay in this island. Uh, one family stay in this island to taking care of this lighthouse. I mean, to maintain the, the lighthouse. And as, uh, as for your info, this lighthouse have the hang around 60 meters and they don't have the leaf and we need to climb it uh, manually by stairs. Yeah, do you know what happened with my leg? Um, after I climbed this lighthouse, I'm, I'm very tired and and my leg is pain for two days but it's worth it because you will see what you can uh, see from the the landscape from the top of this lighthouse it's very very beautiful and you can see the green and the blue together it's like you can see the horizon of the Indian Ocean and you will see the Indonesia I mean you can see straight to Indonesia even you cannot see Indonesia uh, island of Indonesia but but it's okay and we listen what the tour guide telling us about this lighthouse actually i'm not understand because he talking in malagasy uh, but after this chan told me that this lighthouse is uh, built by the french colony and uh, before this area is very good i mean uh, very neat area because this is like the best camp of the French army before but nowadays because uh, Madagascar already have independence and there is no war anymore so the lighthouse is just for for lighthouse for Mercusuar only not not for war not for anything so just one people staying in this island Mm, if it is in Indonesia, I guess if there is an island like this, I guess uh, maybe many hotel already built in this island because this island is very beautiful. I guess people will make like the resort or make like the diving diving area like that or a snorkeling area on this island. 
But one thing I I like from Malagasy or Madagascar is they trying to keep their natural environment is everywhere, and it's good because um, they keep the the they keep their their uh, environment and they keep their their uh, what is the name it's like their place and they keep their generation so this is what is inside the lighthouse you can see people writing like i love you a love b and c love b and etc many people writing here and this is the book of the lighthouse but it's written in in French. So the Malagasy speak uh, Malagasy and French. They can speak French as well. This is like the middle wall, so the people from the top can tell you what is happening on the, on the top to the people at the bottom of the lighthouse. And after that, we climb this lighthouse. So feel the same you know i like to stay in the lighthouse honestly if there is a room in the lighthouse i would like to stay here and just sitting here and see the beach and the sky Where we are. We are there. And the green on the bottom of me it's very beautiful So this is my experience coming to Ile Aubrunz This is only day one because after this we would like to go to the jungle but I will split my, my adventure video of uh, this Plum Island become two because I understand uh, if I make it one, it will be so long video and maybe it will be boring. So, uh, I, I recommend you to come to Il Aubrunz if you come into Madagascar. And I recommend you to take a two night, a two days one night package so you can enjoy the area and you can enjoy your vacation with your friends. And it's better if you bring 
many people in your group because it will be more uh, happier and it will be more uh, enjoy like uh, yeah you can talking to your friends and you, you can tell you many funny funny things and everything it's very good And then we just enjoy our time for a while in this uh, lighthouse and after that we will return back to the beach area and after this you will see what happened in the next video so thank you for watching my video and uh, don't forget to see the next what happened in this prune island okay and uh, this is uh, you know uh, people thinking when I come into Madagascar people thinking I will come to very difficult uh, places like uh, because in their mind Africa is like a desert only but it's not like that Africa is same like Indonesia we have beach we have the desert uh, we have the jungle and everything it's beautiful as well as Indonesia so um, I feel it's like I come to my place I mean I come to my country as well the different only the language 